Cafe Knickerbocker, Milwaukee. Drive over to Cafe Knickerbocker near the lake just after 10 p.m. Miss the live jazz, which in this Midwest cafe, it turns out, ends precisely at 10. Sit at a sidewalk table anyway, drinking Sprecher Dark after dark. Hear the golden German girls laughing nearby. Look for a moon without finding it. Candles flickering on marble tabletops. Then I ask for real Wisconsin cheese. Obvious tourist trying to develop a taste for this place. Sitting here, listening to the sounds, breathing the pungencies of passing motor cars, mostly. Trying not to notice wild-eyed men who roam unwashed, with no indoor place to sleep or pee. Face of a woman who talks to her boyfriend about her phone calls captivates me. One of them was thirty dollars. She has such control of her expression, her speech, her gestures. The camera would love it. The whole world surely would want to see it. This reminds me of the night, she says. A Harley goes by. I can't hear the rest. So you want to hear the story, she insists, powerful, demanding his attention. He laughs as if to confess his own weakness. The fire in her eyes is not reflected candlelight, though it is unclear if he even listens then. She sits with this man who seems immune to her. Then she pays, walks off with him, hand in hand. A woman at another table laughs, oddly amused at the end of a long tale of woe confides the punchline with huge mirth. His best friend died that day of a drug overdose.